Is it Sheba World here? Can we start? <laughs> Everything waits for you, Sheba. Okay. Okay, he's here. Now we can start. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon. I'm here today with dozens, as you can see, dozens of the Orthodox Jewish community's most prominent leaders to endorse Lou Fiddler for New York State Senate. And today, I'm not only endorsing Lou, I'm also endorsing his five-point plan to help yeshiva parents, which I know is the best plan to reduce the cost of tuition for hundreds of thousands of Orthodox families throughout New York. Let me tell you something, folks. I can tell you that as a colleague in the city council, Lou has been the Orthodox community's most important ally in New York City government. He's always been there for us. I can tell you back to before I was in the city council, when there was a fight for Priority 7 vouchers, Lou was the one who we could count on to lead the fight. This year, when we had a fight on Priority 5 Yeshiva vouchers, it was Lou who fought to restore $25 million in funding that went directly to the yeshiva's bottoms line. And it's not just that he finds innovative way to fund yeshivas, Lou was the one who actually passed the law requiring that yeshivas get nurses if they want nurses. So he comes up with out of the box methods to try to help our community. Lou was also the one who fought to fight to get the funding for the autism initiative, which helped literally hundreds of families in our community that have Baruch Hashem, they have a challenge of having a child with autism and they can get some relief thanks to Lou Fiddler. But it's not just yeshivas. There are literally hundreds of moistus, charities in our community, who have gotten a total of $15 million in funding from Lou Fiddler. I want you to think about that. That's an incredible amount of money. I just want to reiterate this point. Lou Fiddler represents a district that is less than 2% Orthodox, okay? So just think about this. 98% of his district is not Orthodox, and he spends the bulk of his time fighting for the Orthodox community because that's the kind of person that Lou is. When you talk about $15 million, you ask, where does the money go? Groups like Hatsala, Shaimrim, Chaveirim, JCC of Marine Park, Project Muzzin, every shul that asks for money in the district, yeshivas, you name it, Lou has got them funding. What about the Torah Masora Summer Jobs Program? There are literally thousands of children in our community who have paid jobs every single summer who aren't hanging out thanks to Lou Fiddler. Come on, let's hear it for Lou Fiddler. Thank you. For Rabbi Sai, folks, it's not just about money, it's about standing up for what's right. Lou Fiddler started his career in public service as a volunteer lawyer for the Crown Heights Jewish Community Council. He fought with them as a volunteer, as a lawyer, side by side during the riots to make sure that those people who were responsible would be arrested and would be brought to justice. And that's what happened. And after the riots, Lou stayed to help the community rebuild. And let me tell you a story that a lot of people don't know. When there was a student, there was a Jewish student at Brooklyn College, she was getting thrown out of college because she got into a fight with an anti-Semitic professor because the professor didn't agree with her views on Eric's control. Lou Fiddler volunteered and represented her, and he fought the case, and he won. And when Charles Barrett... Oh, for the record, we're not clapping for Charles Barrett. <laughs> when Charles Barron got up on the floor of the city council, can you imagine the chutzpah, the New York City Council, the largest Jewish community in the United States, and he made anti-Semitic remarks. I wasn't in the city council then, but Lou Fittler was, and he stood up and he called out. He was the one who called out Charles Barron for being an anti-Semite. So let me tell you folks, for starters, in the Frum community, in the Orthodox community, we have something that's called Hakaras Hatayv. Hakaras Hatayv loosely translated means gratitude. We are grateful for the things that Lou Fiddler has done for us. So Lou, we say thank you for everything that you've done for us, but I also want to thank you for I know what you will do for us in the State Senate. And I'll tell you folks, anybody who knows me knows that for me, I believe the most important issue for the Frum community is the lack of affordability of yeshiva education. And I can tell you I've worked on this issue for years. And for years, we've had empty promises. Politicians are, we'll do this, we'll do that. We call them chalimus. Chalimus are fantasies, right? They have no plan, they have no real idea. Lou impressed me on this. 
he sat down, he did the research, he called me, he called the smartest people that he knows, and he came up with a comprehensive five-point plan that everyone agrees. I don't care which side of the aisle you're on, everyone agrees that he has a plan that will make a real difference in the lives of hundreds of thousands of yeshiva parents. I want to quickly tell you about this plan, because this plan is revolutionary. I've never before met an elected official who had such a comprehensive five-point plan to try to help relieve the tuition burden. First item that Lou is proposing, a tuition tax credit to reimburse parents up to $5,000 in tuition per yeshiva students. So how does it work? Let's say you pay $6,000 per kid for yeshiva tuition. You have five kids. For those five kids, you're gonna get $5,000 back, which means that on your taxes, you'll get $25,000 credit. Some people say, oh, what does that mean? It's very simple. The money is refundable. So let's say your tax bill isn't that high, or in some cases, I don't know, but I've heard this is possible, although I've never experienced it myself. Some people pay no taxes. <laughs> For those people, they would get a check from the government. It's called a refundable tax credit. Folks, this is the single best solution that we have immediately that has bipartisan support that Lou Fiddler can get done and start working on on day one. Amen. The second idea that Lou had, which is incredible, and it's something you figure, why did nobody think about this up until now? Lou wants to pass a law that will provide funding for cameras for every single yeshiva in New York. Everybody knows that we're a target. It's no secret. The Jewish community is a target from terrorism. There's no question. Lou wants to protect us. His third idea was, when we come to priority five vouchers, unfortunately, we have waiting lists and waiting lists and waiting lists. Lou said, why do we have to have waiting lists for? Let's get the state to pitch in and to provide funding. That's an incredible plan. The fourth idea, this is very near and dear to my heart because Lou and I have been working on this in the city. Unfortunately, as many people know, in the city, the council does not control education. The mayor, by state law, has complete control of our education. For two years, we've been fighting with the city. We're asking them to try to introduce a transportation voucher, a voucher that you can give to parents. Let them pick the bus company. It's cheaper for the city, and it's free for parents, and it would allow parents to send their kids late at night, mishmar after hours, and it would be good for everybody. Unfortunately, with the city, we've had some resistance. But Lou knows that up in Albany, he can get it done, and he's proposing to get it done. And finally, something that very few people know, and I was actually amazed when Lou came to me with this, which shows that he really took the time and the foresight and the energy, and that is that right now, the state has mandates. The state requires yeshivas to do certain things, but unfortunately, the state doesn't pay for it. Altogether, we're talking $350 million that's owed to private schools, including yeshivas in New York State. And Lou Fittler came to me and said, this is going to be one of my top priorities. We're talking about lowering the operating costs for yeshivas, improving safety, and the ability to immediately reduce tuition costs. That's what Lou Fittler is all about. Come on, sir. Let me tell you this about Lou Fittler. I've known Lou Fittler for years. He has integrity. He has what we in Brooklyn call smarts, and he has a plan to help us. And most importantly, what he has is cheskas kashrus. You know what that means? For those of you who don't know what cheskas kashrus means, it means he's trustworthy. Every politician, everybody running for office will make you promises. It's baloney. This is a person who actually gets things done for us. And that's why we're here today supporting him. And we know. And we know when Lou says he's going to fight for us, he will. Because Lou Fiddler has always fought for us, and he will continue to do so for us for many years in the New York State Senate. Thank you. You know, we have many, many, many community leaders here. I'm just going to acknowledge some of them. I'm going to ask some to come speak, and then we're going to have Lou speak. It's kind of like, you know, I joke with Lou, it's kind of like his bar mitzvah again. He's got to wait for all the speeches, then he can actually speak. We have Rabbi Yecheskel Pickus from the Kojo of Flatbush. We have Rabbi Yitzhak Fleischer, who is from Bubov and is also a member appointed by the U.S. House of Representatives for the Commission to Preserve the Heritage of Abroad, somebody who literally is a leader in saving Jewish cemeteries and respecting Kavad HaMais throughout the world. Thank you, Rabbi Yitzhak Fleischer. We have Rabbi Abe Friedman 
from the New York State Division of Homeland Security, although he's not here in his official role. We have Rabbi Chaim Fleischer, who is a coordinator of Haverim. We have Rabbi Pesach Greenberg from Yad Ephraim. We have Reb Sandy Rappaport, Masbia. Everybody knows Masbia. You need a meal, where do you go? You go to Masbia. We have Professor Rabbi Moshe Tzvi Reicher from Babu. We have Chaim Deutsch, the founding director of Shimer. We have Rafali Moshe Inde, leader of the Satmar community. We have Morris Friedman, a member of many different organizations and a leader in the community. We have Rabbi Yoeli Eisdorfer, who's very involved as a member of the community board. We have Rabbi Berish Welts, who runs a very large yeshiva and is a rub of an important shul here in the community. We have Leon Goldenberg. Leon Goldenberg does so many things. I don't know where to begin. From Kojo to Pope to Agudas Yisrael, just about everything good in Flatbush has Leon Goldenberg's stamp behind it. We have Shia Rubenstein, the president of the JCC of Marine Park, the founder of Project Muzan. We have Barry Biddick, who is an individual through his through his particular through his particular store, I can tell you that him and his brothers through the store, Moshe's, they do an unbelievable amount of chesed that are involved with really some terrific, terrific organizations. And we have Reb Eli Yeager, who is a community leader and of course has the distinction of being the father of the great campaign manager, Kalman Yeager, who's here <laughs> with us today. We have Reb Ron Khan from Kojo. We have literally here dozens of community leaders and we'll continue to announce the list as Barry gets them to me who are here to send one clear message. Not only does our community have Hakor Satoy, but we know, we trust Lou. If you trust us, trust us that Lou is the person. He's the best person to fight for the front community in the New York State Senate. And so, I'm going to ask a few people to come up here and speak, and we're going to ask them to be brief, a little briefer than me, preferably. And we are going to start, of course, with one of the most esteemed Rabbanim that we have in our community, Rabbi Rabat. I'll be very brief. All I have to say is one thing. Lou Fiddler is one of ours. He does, he works, he gets things done for the Frum Orthodox community all these years. It's a choy kodosh, it's an obligation. Not only that we vote for him, we make sure others vote, many don't vote. Make sure they vote for Lou Fiddler. It's important for us, as from a Yidden, that Lou Fiddler is elected to, to the Senate. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rabbi Rabag. And I, of course, want to recognize Rabbi Jacob Klass, who just joined us as well. I want to ask uh, Reb Mendel Schechter to please join us and to uh, say a few words about uh, how he knows Lou Fiddler. Well, I will just tell you that I don't know Lou Fidler personally, but I've heard a lot of good things about him from my friend Chaim Deutsch. And I believe that Lou Fidler is the right person at the right time for our community. And we appreciate the fact that he stands up for all the Fulmer people and for the yeshivas that need his help so desperately. And we, we hope and pray that he will be Matzliach, uh, success in this election and they will continue to help the Jewish community. We thank you. Thank you very much. Perfect example. It doesn't know him personally, but everybody knows of Lou Fiddler's reputation as a fighter for the community. I want to ask Rabbi Vigler, who runs a very large shul in Marine Park. Rabbi Vigler? Maya Yisrael. And who gets a Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov, Rabbi Vigler. Just came from the hospital. As an official um, religious institution, we can't officially endorse a candidate. <coughs> but one thing I want to say is when you go to the polls, remember <coughs> our friends when you vote. <laughs> I love the accents. What can I tell you? I want to invite Rabbi Pickus, and I got to tell you, Rabbi Pickus, where are you? Rabbi Pickus, you know, we were discussing myself and Reb Khan the other day, that Rabbi Pickus is really one of the people in the community. He's the go-to person for chesed, for tzedakah, for shidduchim. He's Misada Kedushin at thousands of chasnas literally in the community. He's someone really who has dedicated himself to the klal for the last 50 years. And he's someone who understands, who knows elected officials, who knows community, who knows what we need. Please give it up for Rabbi Pickus. Give it up. 
here primarily and his action speaks louder than words. Jim Hakaras Hatoy in the name of literally hundreds past of thousand kid, uh, thousands of, ch- of kids of our film community who go to who have to go to the summer camps. And if not for the efforts of Lou Fiddler a number of years ago to get the authorization to allow these kids to be participants in the summer program, this would not have been possible. These same kids would have been roaming the streets over here. And we have one person to thank, mm-hmm. Lou Fiddler. When we came to him, he, he, he led the, in other words, he led the fight and the efforts in the agency to get recognition to allow this to take place. And I think one, one this action alone, yeah, we say we're, we're approaching Pesach, even if it was this and that, this, this action alone justifies and is exemplary of what Lou Fiddler is all about. We thank you, and this, uh, we have to be here for the Akara Satay, in the name of the kids, and in the many efforts that the benefactors were, the parents and the Shiva kids who are in our community. to speak Shavach of Lou Fiddler. We don't have all night, so we're just getting the highlights. But everybody here has a story. He can tell you when Lou went out of his way to help someone, when he did something he didn't have to do, because that's the kind of person that Lou Fiddler is. You know, we have a very important organization, Tara Masara, and they have a wonderful person, Rabbi Ostrachner, who really works very hard and who really is somebody who's committed to the community. And he's somebody who knows Lou Fiddler better than most. And I want to ask him to tell us about his experiences with Councilman Lou Fiddler. Most was said already, but I, I think that we have to understand how committed Lou is to see that people get taken care of fairly and well. He has matched this commitment with his abilities, with his tenacity, and with his uh, te- teamwork, and produced uh, maybe the 15 million for institutions, <coughs> but a lot more for individuals and families and seeing that uh, they got their place. He's helped us. We can help him help uh, help us further. We'd like to see Senator Fiddler. <laughs> no, 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 Thank no, you no, very no, much. No, 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 your camera, no, your camera. The very prominent uh, yeah. rabbi in Oscar in our community, Rabbi Jacob Klass. Right. Yeah, let's go. Oh my God! You gotta speak loudly. Oh, oh, oh. You have to project your voice. <laughs> Communities need people that that are very involved, and we, as the community, I'm not talking about the elected officials, but the people in the community themselves have to be very involved. One of the involvements, it is a responsibility that when it comes election day. We have a choice. We live in a, in a de- democratic society where we can elect officials. We don't realize how fortunate we are. We're given choices. We can make the choices. We, we are standing here today with, a, with a, a very good choice. I am not talking on behalf of my my particular shul, Kahal B'nai Matis because I would be in violation of certain right? But uh, exactly. No. Uh, But I'm talking on behalf of citizens, citizens in the community. Our community, it's important for us to be represented, and and we hope, as a senator, you will represent us well. Thank you very much. As you should. I want to invite uh, an incredible Oscar in the community, somebody who for years actually represented a good Yisrael in the United Nations, someone who can be counted on whenever there's a major public policy issue in our community. He's there with his advice and guidance. Who's Professor right Rabbi Moshe Tzvi, right? Yes. I'm not Rabbi, but thanks for the compliment. I think it was a compliment. You need a I have, as the councilman from Borough Park, I have the ability to give smicha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I don't know Lou Fiddler, but I do know David Greenfield. Oh, I think I know David Greenfield is a dynamo who has set new standards of public service in this area. The constant deep thinking about problems, the constant devising of solutions to those problems, and above all, a man of integrity. 
So when a man like David Greenfield gets up here today, convenes a gathering as he has done today, and endorses Lou Fiddler in the fulsome terms in which he endorsed him, and I listen to every word, and above everything else, when he says Lou Fiddler is a man of integrity, he's my man. Thank you, Professor Reiter. I also want to recognize uh, Akiva Klein, who's here today from Scheimer and Baruch Moskowitz, who's a uh, avid community askend, uh, David Cheskiel, who's here with us, Elliot Tamir, and Ephraim Brookhandler. I want to ask, I want to ask uh, uh, a, a really an incredible consummate askem in our community, Leon Goldenberg, to speak about the many years of friendship that he has and the knowledge of the work that Lou Fiddler has done on behalf of the club. First of all, I think you'll all be happy to know that I'll be speaking in English, not like the previous speaker. <laughs> <laughs> With accent, without accent? Uh, I've known Lou for many years, for probably a dozen years, and at the end of the day, it's about who can get things done. <coughs> Lou has gotten things done for our community, has gotten funding for our Meisters, has reached across party lines. It is somebody that's going to be up there in the Senate, which is a Republican held Senate, that we'll be able to reach across party lines. We need the help on the Democratic side. The five major issues that we need for our yeshivas, it's on the Democratic side that we really have the issues. So we need to have somebody on the Democratic side that really understands our issues and will fight for our places, our yeshivas, and our parents. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to invite Gedalia Kaufman, or Gedalia Kaufman is the president of Congregation Yeshua's Time, somebody who has a, a history with Lou to tell us about his experiences and his knowledge of Councilman Lou Fiddler. Okay. I don't know David Greenfield, but I do know Lou Fiddler. <laughs> <laughs> Lou Fiddler has been a friend of my family for well over 35 years. Uh, my father worked with him many, many years ago in other communities on issues that affected the community. And I can honestly say he's a man whose word is his word. He has integrity. He gets the job done. Above all, he doesn't lie and he delivers. I would urge everybody to strongly support Lou Fiddler. Thank you. He delivers. What more can you ask for? And finally, I want to introduce somebody who really needs no introduction. He's an individual who works 24-7 on behalf of the community. You guys will ask, how's that possible? I can tell you he has a head to work on the seventh day. And that is somebody who is the founder and director of a group here in Flappish that does incredible work on behalf of the Seabor, and that is Flapper Scheimrim Rukhaim Deutsch. David stole my speech and Gary stole my jokes. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> but um, Who do you know? I just want to say that no one asked me to endorse Lou Fiddler. No one forced me to endorse Lou Fiddler. And no one told me to endorse Lou Fiddler. And it definitely wasn't the Democratic political club that twisted my arm and asked me to endorse Lou Fiddler. Right? <laughs> but I just want to say that I decided to endorse Lou Fiddler from my experience having with Lou and knowing Lou for the last 15 years. Lou is a true mensch, he's a true leader, and he has delivered to our community. So today I stand with the Kashavir Rabbanim, I stand with the community leaders, both from the Ashkenaz community and the Spada community, to put Councilman Lou Fiddler in the State Senate. So please spread the word and let's do that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chaim. And I have to tell you that I, as, as, as you know, we're counting heads here. We can see that uh, we have literally over 50 community leaders here from the Frum community. Folks, I got to tell you, the one thing you're going to learn about Lou Fiddler is that he speaks short and right to the point, not like me. And a so terrific without... member of the community, is our next know? state oh, senator, Lou Fiddler. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You know, I, I have to tell you, it is very deeply humbling, um, very, very, very deeply humbling to have distinguished Rabbanim, Taverim, leaders like all of the folks who are standing behind me come here today and express faith and confidence in me. I am extraordinarily flattered and humbled by it. and. You know, after a lifetime of working uh, with this community, as part of this community, uh, to know that it has not gone unnoticed means all, all to me that I could possibly say. 
and then to have on top of that to have the endorsement of my colleague David Greenfield. I know David doesn't give his endorsements out lightly. He's taking a pass every now and then. That he would lay, weigh in in this race is to, to support me. Uh, I am so ever grateful uh, to him and to all of you. So let me start with that. You know, anybody can slap a yarmulke on their head in a campaign time and tell you that they're from, tell you that they share your values, tell you that they'll work for you. But it's always been said, the best way to know where somebody is going, to know where they've been. If you've listened to the folks that have talked before, you know. What I've done... You came to the campus and compared the Israeli army to the Gestapo. And her, they brought up on charges. Chutzpah with a capital Ch. <laughs> no one had to ask. I came and I did. I defended her because it was the right thing to do. When Charles Barron stood up on the floor of the city council and tried to defend the hate fest at Durban and said, some people walked around with pictures of Adolf Hitler. So what? No one had to tell me what to do. I got up. I explained to him, even though he was too chicken to stay in the room to hear it, that Jews are as entitled as anybody else to be free from prejudice and bigotry. Throughout my life, when they closed the synagogue on Flatlands Avenue in Schenectady, and the elderly congregants had no place to go, and this is a mitzvah that I will always be very, very proud of. I went to a Bezdin. I went to Bezdin to make sure that that synagogue remained open. 16 years later today, that shul is still open with a daily menu. When the mayor tried to cut Priority 7 vouchers, when he came back again this year for Priority 5 vouchers, no one had to tell me what to do. I lined up support with guys like David Greenfield and Steve Levin from Williamsburg. We got together and we fought back, and we got $25 million put back. Money that's going <coughs> directly to yeshiva families. So, when you talk about a plan, and I think we have a good plan, I think we know that it is the issue in this community that actually matters in the everyday lives of people who live here. The affordability of education. I send a child to college, I send a child to law school. That's just two kids, that's just a short period of time in their lives. I know the economic strain. To deal with that issue, People can promise you pie from the sky, or they can give you a plan that can actually get done. And when you know that I've been able to get things done for this community, with this community before, you can take some faith that when I tell you that I'm going to fight to get it done, that I'm going to try to get it done, that we have a shot at actually getting it done. <coughs> So instead of listening to all these attacks on people's character and all the other Chazerai and nonsense, I ask you to think about it. Think about it. Think about where I've been. Think about who I've been. Think about what I've done. And know that going forward in the future, I will be the guy who can get it done for you. I need your help on March 20th. I need this community to come out in big numbers to vote for me, to elect me to be your state senator. And if you do, on March 21st, I will hit the ground running, working for this community to make it, to keep it, to get it even better than it is today. Thank you so much for all your support. All right, thank you everyone. Have a great night and we'll see you at the polls Tuesday, March 20th.